tell our young people that we want them to get off the corner, but we send them to recreation centers that are falling apart. This sends mixed messages. And when someone gets hurt in that rundown rec center, who ends up paying for it? We're talking about mismanagement, misconduct, and mistakes. When city workers fail to do their jobs, you pay the bill. Our exclusive Five on Your Side investigation found Cleveland spends millions of dollars settling lawsuits. Five on Your Side investigator Sarah Buddison reviewed every single case. Five on Your Side investigators looked at every single settlement from the last four years. We found city workers making serious mistakes, and the costs are about much more than money. It's more than just a game for me. Basketball. It created so many potential and, and so many doors of opportunity. Took Ronaldo Gates places he never imagined. He played for Pitt in college and professionally in South Africa. I wanted to go back to South Africa, play one game, uh, and then retire. So he joined a local league to get in shape. It was a no-brainer. Three years later, he's grateful he can take a single step. I'm just thankful that I have, uh, I have breath, I have life, I'm here. Because it could have been over. On October 11th, 2014, he was in the middle of a game. It wasn't a brand new gym, but it functioned at Fairfax Rec Center. But that particular day, it was different. As he planted for a layup, he slipped. It just felt like I stepped in a puddle. And his left leg snapped. That leg literally just coming up this way and going down. He says the fall ruptured every ligament and tendon in his knee and tore an artery. It didn't look good. It didn't look good at all. He spent the next two months in a nursing home. No one warned me. It wasn't a discussion. He later learned the center's roof was leaking. I didn't know that there was water on that court. He sued. The city settled. It wasn't really my fault. I just went to play basketball. Our Five on Your Side investigation found Ronaldo's case is one of close to 200 filed against the city of Cleveland in just the last four years. The cost to taxpayers? more than $27 million. The money that's paid out in settlements is money that cannot be, is not available to be spent on services, on improving the public schools or, you know, fixing the roads or, or, or what have you. Jonathan Whitmer Rich teaches law at Cleveland State University. But you want to, again, get ahead of these problems and invest your money in repairing things on the front end. So what needs to be fixed besides that leaking roof? We found close to three quarters of the settlement money came from just one department. Police related settlements totaled close to $20 million. That number, the amount of money that the city has to spend in settlements should be a real wake up call to people to say, it's worth it to invest money in effective policing. Cleveland did start investing in training and equipment a few years ago because of a very different type of settlement. The city forced to make changes after a U.S. Department of Justice investigation found police have a pattern and practice of using excessive force. The changes too late to help Tanisha Anderson. She died from fixation. That's what she died from. The mentally ill woman was being restrained by police on an icy sidewalk while waiting 14 minutes for officers to call an ambulance. My daughter wasn't armed. She wasn't violent. She doesn't even have a history of a, a, a traffic ticket. Another $2 million came from two departments. Five on your side investigators have told you about for years. The water department, known for bungling bills, was sued close to 50 times. And the streets department, close to 20. These lawsuits are, are troubling. We shared our findings with Cleveland Councilman Bashir Jones. What can we do to, to make this better? He represents Ward 7, home to Thurgood Marshall Rec Center. When we play basketball, the, 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 the court is getting wet. Where three years after Ronaldo's fall, its roof is leaking. When we tell our young people that we want them to get off the corner, but we send them to recreation centers that are falling apart, this sends mixed messages. What that tells me is that there are some fundamental indiscretions. Indiscretions that cost Cleveland millions. Some days I get tired. Some days I'm like, man, I'm 
sick of this. You know, this is this is too much. And Ronaldo, something even more valuable. And then I just tell myself, you could be dead. You could have died right there. You could not have a leg at all. So what has Cleveland learned from the lawsuits? A spokesperson for Mayor Frank Jackson declined our request for an interview. Cleveland's law director told us the city reviews policies when cases highlight problems, but could not cite a specific example. She also told us settling a lawsuit does not mean the city admitted wrongdoing. It can be a way to save taxpayer dollars by avoiding a lengthy and expensive trial. I'm Five on Your Side investigator Sarah Buttison.